share with you today are called the Ultimate LiPo Charging Station. Powerful beast of a thing. Um, I'm going to show you how I put it all together, all the components and that sort of thing, and uh, give it a run at the end and crank some serious ends to those packs. I think you'll like it. Check it out. Okay guys, here it is. It's a nice Pelican case. It's inside a real nice, sturdy, bulletproof Pelican case. Uh, the reason I put it in that is so I can chuck it in the back of the ute and uh, not be too concerned with all the lipos and the other delicate pieces inside when I uh, go out to the field. So I'll just uh, run through each individual component that I used to make it up and uh, you can have a look at all the uh, internal workings. Okay, inside the box we've got one Meanwell 2400 watt 24 volt power supply, which I'm running at 28 volts. Two 1000 watt eye chargers. A custom aluminium mounting plate and terminal with on off switch, which allows for adequate ventilation. A Pelican 1550 hard case to house it all in. And uh, we've got some pick and pluck foam to store the LiPo batteries and various charging accessories. Alright, so when I set out to design this LiPo charging station, I put all of the individual components into a CAD program and uh, just so I could get an idea of what size box I want to fit all the lipos and chargers and power supply and things like that. Um, another main factor I considered was easy assembly and disassembly. So I chose to secure everything inside of the case with Velcro. Um, another thing I did with the electrical connections is put bullet connectors on all of them so you can just like really easily just disconnect them and connect them if, if you should need to get inside. So I think my design was a success and uh, let me show you just how quickly I can put it all together. Thunder power, 6 cell, 5000 million packs here. I'll just uh, check and see how much is left inside. Okay, we've got 28% remaining in this pack. And 31 remaining in the other. Alright, I'll just flash it up. There we go, system check, all okay. Now I'm going to charge each pack at 30 amps. Uh, that's around about 750 watts each. We'll just start these up. There we go, she's ramping up now. Power! I love it. Alright, so up to 30 amps each now. Now I've utilised the external temperature sensor from each charger so the top charger here and the bottom charger and uh, one goes into the intake of the power supply fans and one is at the exhaust uh, I'll just bring up on the chargers here the temperature readouts uh, you can see here the intake temp is around about 27 28 and the exhaust temp is uh, 35 degrees so we've got roughly 8 degree differential across the uh, power supply which isn't too bad, it's, it's actually quite cool. <coughs> right, uh, beeping noise means the charges have just finished. Uh, this battery took 11 minutes and 18 seconds to charge and it put in 3,409 milliamps. This battery here went much quicker at uh, 9 minutes and 13 seconds and it put in 2,872 milliamps which is uh, pretty impressive. Under sort of around the 10 minute mark for charging 5000 milliamp success lipos is uh, brilliant. Alright, guys, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you'd like a similar setup, ArcRC do have all of these components 
available for purchase, so uh, just contact them on their website or you can uh, leave me a message below and I'll uh, help you out. Alright guys, take it easy. Cheers.